This episode is sponsored by Rachel Ray Nutrition Natural Food for Cats. Hello, welcome to Weird, Gross, and Beautiful, a casual discussion about animals that I think are weird, gross, beautiful, or three, and this is kitty cat time! No! Fact number one is that there's a misconception going around the internet that I'm a cat person, and that is false. I love cats, but I, I love all animals. I'm an animal person. So there's your first fact about cats, ladies and gentlemen. Kittens meow to communicate with their parents and adult cats meow to communicate with humans. It's kind of like they're still meowing to communicate with their parents because, because we end up being their parents. But if there are no humans around, they will not meow. Some cats can fall from up to 65 feet. Yeah, man, you know, like, how they always land on their feet and stuff like that. I mean, I'm sure that they do always 100% land on their feet. However, comma, if they were to fall from a high enough height, ain't no amount of landing on your feet will save you then. <laughs> the oldest kitty on record is the Egyptian Mao. And Mao is the Egyptian word for cat. That's so cute. <laughs> They're like hanging out in Egypt, like what do we call these things? Well, they certainly go meow a lot. Why don't we just call them meow? In ancient Egypt, when a household cat died, families would shave off their eyebrows in mourning. I'm not really sure why, maybe it was to like symbolize what the cats looked like. I don't know, I, but that's what they did. And it's interesting. A kitty cat's field of vision does not cover right under its nose. I think that's interesting. Speaking of their nose, a kitty cat's nose has very special markings on it. Very similar to like a human fingerprint where there's only one a fingerprint that is absolutely yours and there's only one little nose print that is a kitty's. Mm. Poinsettias are poisonous to cats. So listen up, everypony. There are 73 million cats in the world and 63 million dogs. Out of you people in North America that have 63 million dogs, you can have poinsettias at Christmas, but you 73 million cat people, no poinsettias, they're poisonous, it's bad. I know you wanna get into the Christmas spirit because poinsettias are adorable and wonderful, but you can have a fake one. You can have a fake poinsettia because that's not gonna kill your cat. Don't kill your cat. Cats have very good ears. In fact, their sense of hearing is one of their better senses. Like, that's why they got those big old ears with their little fuzzies and they're so cute and adorable. And they have the ability to recognize your voice. Just because they're ignoring you doesn't necessarily mean that they're not hearing you because they can recognize your voice. They recognize tone and intonation, so they, so be nice to your kitties because being kind and sweet does more Love, love, love for the kitty because they know what you're saying. When your cat's eyes are closed, it does not necessarily mean that they are sleepy. What uh, it also can mean is that they're happy or content. And so when it, they have their eyes closed and it looks like their little faces are smiling, it means that maybe they probably are. If you have more than one kitty, it is always uh, best to have kitties of the opposite gender um, because they tend to be better housemates. But make sure that you get your cat spayed and neutered and you can go to your local SPCA to get them spayed and neutered because overpopulation is a bad thing because then all of the kitties, they will not have good homes. And we want all of the kitties to have all of the good homes. So make sure you go check out the link in the description to find your local SPCA to get your kitties spayed and neutered. In one litter of kitties, there can be more than one daddy kitty. You get what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you do. Dang that girl, she's scandalous. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Weird, Gross, and Beautiful. My name is Katie Wayne, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter at Katie Wayne and tweet me an animal that you would like me to cover. This week's animal was suggested by Rachel Ray Nutrish Natural Food for Cats. The number one ingredient is always real meat like salmon or chicken. Never any artificial flavors or preservatives, just wholesome whole grains and veggies plus the vitamins. Look out for both dry and wet recipes where you currently shop for your family's groceries. And please, before you guys go, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because there's gonna be a bunch of little cat content coming out this week. We are gonna be going to Cat Vid Fest in Minneapolis. Yay!
Hey! And so if you see us, please come and say hi. Well, if you're there, if you're going, if you happen to be there. So stay tuned and subscribe and like and share and love. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah.